So it's a couple of days later now. We just came back from Japan yesterday and we had so much fun. I have a vlog coming of like our 72 hours in Japan very soon. But now we're back in South Korea. We actually checked into a different hotel and the view here is genuinely so beautiful. I think I already inserted a clip just before this, but we woke up to such a nice view. Also, I'm kind of rushing talking because I'm running late. But last night, as soon as we checked in, I recorded a video of this whole room because I realized I didn't give you girls a room tour last time. So I'm just gonna insert that here now. So we just checked into our for the second leg of the trip i literally just got off the plane fresh from japan and i just walked in and this hotel is so beautiful i literally just realized that i forgot to show you guys how the last hotel looks like so i'm not going to forget this time and i'm going to show you what hotel we're staying at so this is the grand height hotel in seoul and this is how it looks like it's stunning so as soon as you come in here's the bathroom and i feel like this vanity mirror is the mirror of dreams i feel like whenever i'm putting on my makeup i need a harsh light to show me what i'm working with and this is exactly what I need. There's literally mirrors in all corners. There's also a mirror over here and they also have a bidet. Like especially in Japan there was a bidet everywhere. Like even in McDonald's. Like we went to McDonald's on our last day. If you girls stay tuned for the next vlog, when it does come out, you girls will see from my Japan vlogs. Like it's just so like modest friendly. Like you have your bidets and you have so many modest clothing available to you. Like it's amazing. So stay tuned for the Japan vlog but link into that there was literally bidets everywhere. And there's a bidet here which I love and we have a walk-in shower. To be honest, I feel like this bathroom is a lot smaller than the other one we was at, but it's still cute. And as soon as you walk into the room, this is what we're working with. These beds are just, I'm obsessed with them. The view is just, I can't wait for tomorrow morning to come. There's obviously three of us staying here because I came with my two older sisters. This is more of like a cute, intimate vibe, especially in comparison to the other hotel. There's also a big mirror here. My airport outfit is confused. Like, do you know the last day of a trip when you don't know what outfits you have anymore and you just try to put things together? This is what this outfit is giving. I literally didn't have anything else to wear in Japan because we bought like just a small carry-on. But um, yeah. This is what we're working with. We're just gonna order some room service and I'll speak to you girls tomorrow. And back to today, we're just heading off to have brunch with a friend. Honestly, the brunch spots and cafes here are just so amazing. I've been loving everything. And then we're just gonna see where the day takes us. I think we're gonna go to a mosque afterwards, which should be fun. And I think the park is up because we're literally right next to a park. And yeah, it looks like a beautiful day. Let's make it a good day and let's head off. <laughs> These are all the drinks we ordered. I went for a tropical drink. My sister went for a dirty matcha. This looks so yum. This is what I decided to go for. It's pretty much cinnamon with maple syrup and it looks so yum. <laughs> we just finished up with brunch and it was so yum. I'm literally just hiding in the toilet right now. But I literally engulfed everything so quickly. I don't think I've ever ate that fast, but clearly I was hungry. And I think I told you guys already, but I went with the cinnamon French toast. If you guys ever go here, please get the cinnamon French toast because it was so, so good. And I also managed to try my friend's smoked salmon. I feel like during this trip right now, I'm being so adventurous with like the food I try because I usually stick to what I know and I didn't think I liked like smoked salmon but the smoked salmon is really nice but right now I think we're just going to go explore look at the park maybe go to the mosque now but I'll keep you guys updated I'm literally whispering right now because I'm kind of shy I don't really like recording in front of people and I was like let me go to the bathroom and keep the girls updated because that's important <laughs> so let's go outside the brunch spot that we just ate at was right up there and it's literally just on a hill right now so we just had to climb up this hill over here right now and honestly this is such a vibe it feels like such a local spot We just went into a local shop and they sell so many like cute little bits and like look at this just imagine having all your earrings and jewelry on here beside your bedside table i feel like that would look so cute i'm obsessed and even this bigger one is so cute as well oh. 
I'm tempted. I'm really tempted by it. Even these gold accents. Look how cute that is. Little cute band. They put stickers on it and everything. They have quite a few stickers. Like, look at these stickers here as well. I love having stickers on my laptop and my Kindle. So maybe this could be a new addition. And there's also a, um, what's this called again? Bookmark. Really cute bookmark. Book club. Oh no, it says book club. <laughs> maybe book club. But like everything here is so cute. Look at that. Have I ever witnessed such a thing? <laughs> that car literally just went up this hill right now. Oh my god. We're walking to the mountain. Thankfully, there's an escalator there that we can take. But imagine, I think there's steps as well that you can go up the mountain. But I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I'm already out of breath from walking this part without even going up the mountain. So you definitely need the escalators. We're just going to join the queue now. Hopefully, it won't take us too long to go up there. Girl, you want to We went to the park and we just found all of these locks. They're like the love locks. Unfortunately, we didn't remember to bring a lock ourselves. But just look at all of this. Even the park and the view is honestly so stunning. The only thing I will say is that there's so many stairs that we have to climb up and I'm, I'm getting out of breath. I feel like this whole day is becoming a workout. So we went to our dinner spot, but it ended up being closed, which is so sad because it was like this really nice halal looking spot. So right now we just went to a coffee shop to get some coffee and fuel us because we're going to go somewhere different. They also sell like halal chicken and stuff like that, but at the moment we're so hungry. I feel like we worked up an appetite, especially with all the stairs and stuff we were climbing. So yeah, that's what we did. We just found a halal chicken restaurant and it's so funny because all of the other like halal stores are near here and there's one called Reed and then all the other names are just so funny. One's called Bombay Grill. We were just walking down the streets and every shop said like halal and I was like I feel at home. I feel finally at home here. But yeah we're just gonna order some chicken and then we're gonna go to that one there which is the Reed one. Yeah, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything since that brunch that we had this morning. So, time to eat. 
we got the chicken and we're literally just sitting outside a random shop right now to eat this but we're so hungry we're just gonna quickly pop into the masjid and this looks so cute i love like the blue and white interior yay Why do you want to see the men's? Why do you want to see? They got the nice room. They put the woman on the closet. That's crazy. She didn't lie. Woman's room. Let's, <laughs> let's review. Let's review. Let's go inside. So we went for some butter chicken with a side of rice and some pita bread. Butter bread? How do you say? bread. Say naan. With some naan. Oops. Apparently that was wrong. Some naan. Here's some naan, guys. Say and now it's Sunday. Yesterday was honestly so fun. We pretty much spent the whole day walking. I felt like I got all my exercise in one day. But to be fair, the hotel we're staying at right now is kind of near like the mountain and the hill. So we're getting our incline in, honestly. But after we went on the mountain and saw the view, we went out for dinner and we went to a few places, but a lot of them were closed, surprisingly. So the plan for today is to pretty much do some cafe hopping. We went to somewhere just now, but the options they had wasn't that great. But I found that it's actually quite hard to find cafes with like dairy milk alternatives. So if you drink almond milk or oat milk, I think you might have to do your research just a little bit more because I think the go-to is usually like cow's milk. The thing is, it's like I can drink cow's milk, but I feel like I just haven't done it in a long time. So it just feels very, very strange on my body. I think we're gonna try and get a croissant somewhere and then try and find something else to eat because you have the whole day ahead of us and we want to be fueled. Just put on these ears for our photo booth. I feel like these ears are really cute. It's giving lace ears. So as a snack, we decided to get some grapes wrapped in sugar. It's called tangulu, apparently. Wow. <laughs> wow, so let's taste this. Okay, let's taste Bismillah. Oh, 
just met up with some friends now. We had something to drink and now we're just walking around the Seoul Forest. This is such a big space and there's currently a holiday going on so literally everyone's outside. But we'll probably just walk around a little bit more and then we're gonna go to a market. There's a market close by so I'm excited to see what food we eat. It's so nice and crispy on the outside and then the inside it's still nice and chewy. My friend helped me with that. <laughs> but it's filled with like a lot of different vegetables and it's like fried and it's so yummy. We got like two pieces but like one whole pack was like five pounds I think. But yeah, so nice. Now we're just in the line to get some soup dumplings which I'm really excited for because they're filled with vegetables. Usually the soup dumplings are filled with like meat and stuff which obviously I can't eat. But I'm excited. We're gonna order the kimchi dumplings because they're vegetarian mm -hmm. and I'm gonna have the spicy noodles because I like Ooh. spicy noodles. Monday and it's our last day in Korea and genuinely I feel so sad but at the same time I feel like the time has gone by really slowly I feel like we've done so many things but even in saying that I'm like I wish I could stay longer because we stayed here for like around I think eight days or seven days in and out because we went to Japan but yeah it's just genuinely been so nice everyone has been so sweet alhamdulillah I feel like I say this in a lot of my travel vlogs and stuff because obviously I'm very visibly a Muslim and I get like kind of nervous about going to places where I don't feel like there's a lot of diversity but alhamdulillah thank god everyone's just genuinely been so so nice here and it's just it's just so cute i feel like the cultures here here and in japan everyone's just so nice that i was just saying to my friend it's like i don't know how i'm gonna go back to london i feel like in comparison to this culture everyone in london just seems so mean <laughs> I don't know, everyone's just extra sweet here. So, alhamdulillah, I'm really glad I came. It wasn't until last year that Korea was on my like to-go list. Like I've never really thought about going to South Korea, but now I'm genuinely like, it's so beautiful. Everyone is just like, the culture is amazing. The food is so nice. And I, I genuinely don't have anything bad to say, guys. Like if you're thinking about going to South Korea, I would highly recommend it. If anything, I would say it's a really nice place to be with friends and like travel with friends or even just with family 
because there's so many activities that you can do with friends or family like we met a girl last night that she was doing solo traveling and she said she really enjoyed being in south korea but the only thing she would say is that she really wished that she had like someone to experience it with and it's so funny because a few of our friends that have already been to south korea they warned us that there's so many like couples everywhere but genuinely i think i feel like i always say genuinely i posted a tiktok the other week and then i kept on saying genuinely like five times and all the comments was like genuinely genuinely i just say genuinely a lot guys i'm just genuine so there's a lot of couples and there's a lot of like activities to do within a couple but i find that really cute it's not like they're doing like extreme pda like you'll see a lot of like korean couples walking down the street holding hands and it's a moment i love that for them you know just a quick recap of last night since my camera decided it wanted to die so after we walked around the forest we decided to go to the market and taste some traditional korean food and that was so yum we decided to go for some soup dumplings which had some veggie some kimchi and all that good stuff in it apparently it's actually really hard to find a good soup dumpling that doesn't have like any pork or meat in it and obviously as a muslim girl i cannot be eating that so i'm glad we met up with some friends that introduced us to that spot because they live in seoul and they live quite locally and they said they go to that market Market quite often so that was yum we also went for their spicy noodle it was a cold noodle but I feel like I just discovered that I'm not a cold noodle kind of girl like when I was having it it literally came with ice and like a bunch of spices and personally I didn't realize like I guess Asian spice here is different to like the UK spice that I'm used to because back home I could go for like spicy food and it's like normal I went for the spicy noodle here my tongue was burning I was like I did not know I could not handle spice I was like what's happening but it was actually really nice but other than the fact that it was cold and I couldn't handle the spice it was good so after the market we just decided to catch up with our friends and then went to the coffee shop and it was just like a nice wholesome evening and then we walked around a little bit after that but yeah it was just a really nice wholesome day especially because we're leaving tomorrow but me personally I don't really like to think of when I'm gonna leave holiday I just like to be in the moment but it's on the back of my head but let's not talk about it because right now we're in korea and we're gonna make the most of it so that brings us back to today it's currently monday it's 11 a.m we woke up bright and early i say bright and early but it was like 8 a.m that we woke up but for me i feel like with the amount of activities that we're doing lately i'm drained <laughs> i'm genuinely drained because we come home late and then we wake up and then we do like so much activities but genuinely do you see what i did there genuinely but genuinely i do really enjoy it it's just like you're making the most of like being in a completely different country enjoying the experiences yeah. because even with the amount of things that we have done in south korea so far i say south korea the amount of things that we've done in seoul so far there's still so much to do like we were talking to our friends that live here they're like have you done this have you done this have you done this i'm like no we haven't so i was talking to my sisters and we was like we have to come again like there's still so many things that we haven't done right now my sisters and friends are at brunch i said i'll just meet them later because i just wanted to catch you girls up i feel like i haven't really spoken one-to-one -one that much in this vlog so apologies for that they're at a brunch but for this morning and then after that we're going to go to a coffee shop probably i feel like that's all we've been doing lately it's just like having brunch at one spot a coffee shop at another spot and a little while later another coffee shop because there are just so many like cute aesthetic coffee shops here but um that's the plan for today i don't know what we have planned after but let's experience it together and let's head off before we head off i just wanted to quickly show you guys my outfits because i feel like i haven't been showing you guys what i'm wearing but everything will be on instagram if you guys were curious where i got things from but yeah let's look at the outfit so starting off with this black top i have on this is actually a bodysuit and it feels so good it's from Abercrombie. i'll try link everything down below in the description it just feels so nice and snug and it's quite a cold day outside today so i feel like this is perfect it's also raining so i have to take my umbrella which might ruin my outfit a little bit but we just gotta do what we gotta do <laughs> and i feel like the true start of the show is this maxi skirt that i have on we actually bought this while we was in japan and it's so cute it's a maxi length I hope you guys can hear me and see what I'm showing you but it's so cute it has pockets and I feel like it's so flattering as well this was actually a vintage find from my sister I just sold it from my sister I told her whatever you're getting we're sharing and <laughs> this skirt is one of those things I just love that it's so comfortable and it's so flattering as well I love that it has pockets and it's just so cute I just love that it flows as well um, I'm also wearing these new earrings that I bought I bought these earrings during the beginning of our trip and it's like little cherries they're just so cute so that's what we're wearing right now i feel like everyone's waiting for me to have food so i'll head off now and i'll speak to you girls in a sec
What? Look at this cute little quarterly townhouse. It's like three stories. Looks so pretty. We just finished up with brunch and it was so yummy. I just went for like a Greek yogurt and some granola and that was actually quite filling as well. And now we're just gonna walk around, look at some shops. I feel like we've been shopping all like pretty much all day during this trip, but we're gonna look at some other shops, see what we buy anything. I randomly decided to get another piercing. I think I'm just getting one like over here. But yeah, I just feel like two piercings I've always wanted, so let's do it. And this is how my piercing looks like. This was so spontaneous of me. I wasn't even planning so to get a piercing today. For what it is. It's so, so affordable. I think it cost me like um, 22 pounds. And this is silver, pure silver. And yeah, it's so nice. I've literally, I've always wanted to get another piercing, but I've just like never done it. And like the places I have been to in London, it was just like extortionate prices for what they actually gave you. But this, it's so cute. And now we're just in a coffee shop and we're gonna get some like sweet treats and coffee. It's so funny because the artwork here is it's amazing. Look at all of this food and how they like present it. Honestly, it's so wow. Like I don't even know how to describe this. It looks like that kind of is like, is it a cake or is it real? Wow. Look at this one. I don't know what it is. It's probably like sesame or something like that. And look at this massive one in the middle as well. One thing about Korea, they know how to do their aesthetics. This is stunning. I can't believe that this one is food as well. Wow. This is how the interior looks like. This matcha, it's got a lot of cream on the top. We just finished up at the bakery and it was so yummy. If you love like a nice creamy cake or matcha, you're gonna love it. Now, I don't really know where we're going. I think we're going shopping. <laughs> now we're going to Rain Report, which is another cafe. Yes, there. They can't hear you. It's a cute one that has like a special effect outside the uh, <laughs> rain. Drops. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because uh, we miss London, I guess. Yeah, it has rain <laughs> What the frick? <laughs> this girl. But yeah, a rain, rain cafe. Um, I think it's going to be another aesthetic one. They have so many aesthetic cafes, like I said. Um, but yeah, that should be fun. Taking our last bit of this picture for the trip. So sad, but 
happy at the same time because they're taking this photo. <laughs> yeah, I put on these, um, I put on this, what's this called? I put on this headband. A little red moment. But yeah, this girl's 